So what I'm doing is I'm setting up a clean room in my garage as well as clean as it can be. So here we go, a little tutorial in how to paint bare steel. First thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some mineral spirits to this. I'm gonna wipe it down, get any sort of debris that is on here off because when you're painting, you always wanna paint a clean surface. If you paint a dirty surface, uh, you could end up with stuff under your paint and then it might flake and then you're not gonna be happy. After I wipe it down with mineral spirits, towel it off with your trusty thing of uh, paper towels and then I'm gonna make sure that dries. Following that, I went to Lowe's and picked up a can, well, multiple cans, of self-etching primer. This stuff will adhere to steel um, and other things. This is a good uh, automotive base. I'm gonna do maybe two to three coats of this depending on how much it looks like I need. And then finally, I'm gonna to top it off with just trusty, dusty truck bed liner. Uh, this thing's tough as nails. I've used it to touch up rusty old uh, bumpers and other metal pieces on my cars before. So this stuff will be great. That'll be my top coat. I'll probably do, again, like two to three coats of that, depending on how much it looks like I need. So here we go. So just to show you guys how dirty this is, Definitely don't want to put paint over that. All right, so I've left that to dry for about 10 minutes. I also wiped it down with a cloth to get any excess, excess mineral spirits off of there. Now I'm gonna hit it with this stuff. This is our self-etching primer. Give it a good shake and you're ready to go. So coat one of the primer is done. Um, I'm gonna give that time to fully dry and fully cure before I put the next coat on. Uh, just because with this kind of stuff, you don't wanna have it running um, you want to get a nice, even coat, just be patient and take your time, and your paint job will come out nice. Just to show you how lightly I went on that first coat of primer, uh, they had written taco on this uh, swing out thing in Sharpie, and you can actually still see it through that first coat that I put on there. Um, so that's about how light you want to go. You don't want to glop this stuff on. Like I said, just be patient. It's better to do multiple coats than to just slap it on there and um, then have a runny mess. So as you can see, I've totally let this first coat dry. It actually has this cool kind of army green finish. I don't know how well that would look on my truck, um, but we are going to be eventually finishing this in black. So I'm gonna hit this with two more coats and then we'll be ready to go. Alrighty, so I've just gone and thrown on the second coat and that second coat is drying. You can see it's still a little spotty, um, but I don't really feel like I'm gonna need to put a third coat on here. I think two coats of the self-etching primer were more than enough to get the coverage that I needed. And then I'm going to be throwing bed liner on here too. So I'm not too worried about this rusting now. This stuff really sprays well and covers well. Um, for reference, I'm about three quarters of the way through this can. Um, and that did just the back side of the swing out attachment for the bumper. Um, I have two more cans. I don't know if they're actually going to last to do that whole bumper back there too. But this is going to be a multi-day project anyway. So if I need to, I can run back out to my local hardware store and get some more. Alrighty, I flipped her over. It's now time for coat number one on the second side. So I've gone and allowed this thing to totally dry now. You can see it has a nice matte finish. Next step is gonna to be to throw some bed liner on there. I'm gonna do a couple coats of this. Um, and also I stuffed up the little swing joint where this thing is going to attach to the bumper itself. That way I don't end up with bed liner in there. So I've given that first coat of bed liner about a full 15 minutes to cure. 
Uh, like I said before, I went really, really light with it just because it does have a tendency to glop up and run if you're not careful with how much you're putting on there. Um, so now I'm going to do another coat, and I think I'm looking to do two to three coats total. We'll see what the second coat looks like. If that looks like it gives me enough coverage, then I'll just leave it be. Um, so I'm going to repeat the same exact process that I did for the swing out arm, where I'm going to wipe it down with mineral spirits first, let it totally dry, and then do a whole pre-treatment coat with that self-etching primer. Probably do two coats like I did on the swing out arm and then finish it with some bed liner. I'm not gonna show that just because it'll be a repeat of the same exact thing. It's day two and I've just flipped the bumper over. This is the section that actually connects to the truck and I'm about to start doing the bottom side of it. I've already done the side. I'm gonna to touch that up again with uh, some more self-etching primer. Um, and because this is the bottom where uh, you're uh, right behind your tire well and you're gonna be throwing up all sorts of rocks and stuff behind it, I'm gonna coat that really, really heavy uh, with the self-etching primer and then probably do at least three, maybe four coats of bed liner on here just because this is gonna take all the abuse and the impact from stuff on the road.